I'm gonna give you a little history lesson. 2006, we're five and zero, oh, lose to Russellville, lose to Hartsville back to back to go to five and two. Muscle Shoals is what Russellville once was, and and then there it is, Hartsville. So, um, I'm not saying that we're gonna, you know, redo history. I'm just saying that uh, it ain't first time that's happened. It ain't first time that we've been there. It ain't first time that I've been there. But you laid your guts on the line tonight, okay? You absolutely laid your guts on the line. Get your eyes up, okay? You have absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing to be ashamed of, okay? And hey, we're gonna go back to the drawing board and we're gonna keep playing. Beyond the Lights, Athens, presented by Roof Tech Solutions. Don't dwell on what went wrong, instead, Focus on what to do next. Spend your energies on moving forward toward finding the answer. The Athens Golden Eagles football program aimed to find solutions to what went wrong over the last two weeks of the regular season. Also Shoals, Hartzell, the first two defeats of the season, the first two teaching moments when the play on the field didn't feel the outcome the Golden Eagles worked hard for. Because here's the deal. We want, to be, we want to be playing our best ball when the playoffs come, and we're still getting better. We're still getting better. We're still getting better. That's got to continue. Up next, refocus. Another region game against another faceless opponent during the regular season in Columbia. When you go out there tonight, you got to, I don't know if y'all noticed, as you're coming in, there's a whole bunch of dudes you got on jerseys that look kind of like yours. Anybody notice those? All right, who are they? That's the youth league. Okay, it's youth football night. Okay, and they got jerseys. They wanted jerseys just like you got, okay? And it reminds me of this. Um, you got some baseball players in here, and even some of you baseball players may not know this guy, which is kind of sad, but Joe DiMaggio, one of the greatest players of all time. They asked Joe DiMaggio one time, a reporter asked him, said, why do you, why do you play so hard? And Joe DiMaggio said, because there's somebody in the stands today that's never seen me play. So tonight, when you go out there on the field, and it happens every week, okay? But tonight, when you go out there to play, there's gonna be somebody in the stands that's never seen you play. And they deserve to see your best. Those little kids that have that jersey that wanna be you, they deserve to see your best. I can guarantee you those little kids are gonna be watching you. There's somebody that's watching you that ain't ever seen you play before, okay? And let's make sure we give them the, their best. Respect the game, respect the opponent, and play to our standard. Let's go get after the butt. Let's go. Show me my pony. Top spot, I want it. My grind, I'm on it. Can't stop, keep going. One and only can't clone me. I remember feeling hungry. Now I'm coming for the trophy. Cause this is my moment. moment. That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! Notch to win at home. Players received a victory and a surprise after the game. Before you leave tonight, you need to get all your crap out of your locker because you're fixing to move out of here. Okay? So on Sunday, we're moving in a locker room. So all your big man, you already cleaned some of yours out, but um, I mean, it, some of your lockers, man, mm, absolute mess. But really proud of you taking care of business tonight, handling yourself in a classy way, okay? Talk about playing to a standard and you did it, and I'm very proud of you for that. Years in the making, the Athens Golden Eagles locker room is a dedication of love for the current football team, 
and the teams of yesteryear. The current senior class have paved the way for this moment. In the spring of 2019, as sixth graders, the senior class dressed in this locker room. The senior class moved to the middle school and freshman locker room with the same lockers from those originals repurposed and used again in the current field house. Today is a full circle moment for those seniors who stayed, who stayed through the hard work and dedication needed to become an Athens Golden Eagle. So as they come in then, I assume, I mean, we just leave it like this or we won't hit the big light. Eventually we'll put the big light. The I think like, yeah. like this for a few minutes. Like this for a few minutes. Really all we're wanting to do is provide a great high school experience for our players and uh, give them the best of everything that we can and make them work to get it, make them earn it. And uh, you know, to see them work hard for what they now have is, is great and, and knowing the generosity of the people in this town that helped make this happen because this, this is a lot of folks donating money and, and, uh, and putting a lot of sweat into this thing too. So just very appreciative of this town. This is like D1 type thing, and uh, to have it in high school is something we should definitely be thankful for and not take for granted. It's kind of cool, like going full circle almost like we started in that old busted down locker room, then we got to the locker room we was just at, and now we're here kind of like showing the progression of our team through the years. The city plays a big part in it, so uh, with this, you know, we feel like the city's behind our back and that we can accomplish a bunch with them behind our back. Even though your time here is temporary, if you do a good enough job, your work will last forever. The 2024 Athens Golden Eagles aim to leave the program better when they leave. The journey continues with two games left in the regular season. You know, we're coming off a fall break, coming off a couple of tough losses and then a win against Columbia, heading into what I think is a very pivotal stretch for us. And we got to be playing our best ball and uh, hopefully this gives us a little shot in the arm. Lord, I pray that we won't take it for granted. Lord, that we will be grateful for it and that we will take care of it. We'll be good stewards of those things that have been given to us. And they'll pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, baby. Let's go keep it on three. One, two, three, two. Next on Beyond the Lights Athens, the final region game of the season with a special moment for the venue the Athens community built.